is going on guys and before this video starts i just want to give a quick notice obviously as you guys can see 40 percent of you guys watching my videos are not subscribed so i'm just gonna ask if you guys watch my videos do not forget to subscribe remember to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified any single time i upload remember to like share the video with your friends anyway thank you for that guys but now we're going on to the video see you there Anyway guys, apologies for that, that was really really ridiculous what happened there, there were just many many things that I didn't know what I was doing, many things that I got muddled up on, obviously with the pillars I was doing, obviously I was trying to separate them and make them a different mesh, but I had some difficulties doing that, as you can see, I put on the brick texture and the entire mansion became a brick texture and that is not what I wanted, I wanted to separate different meshes so that I can change them into their own specific colours. For example, I want the door to be black. I want the windows to be transparent. But there was just a lot of difficulties, so I had to do just a little bit of separation here and there, separation here and there. But, I mean, we got there in the end, you know, just with a little bit of editing and a little bit of tweaks. I was able to do exactly what I wanted, and now I have separate message from them. So I'm just really, really happy about that, guys. Now that I'm able to just do this properly. So anyway, now if we go into um, the animation mode, as you can see, I have made the door black. So you can see now that the door is its own specific thing, it's its own specific color. I've assigned it to its own specific color, so now we're just going to do the window here quickly. As a quick example, as you can see, it says you use nodes here. It's on principle B. However, we don't want it to have um a basic color we don't want it to have a metallic thing either we want to bring the metallicness of the machine all the way down and we want to bring it its transmission all the way up and i believe it should change and i believe it should change i don't know if that's made it or not so let's try to change that so it's a boy of reason. Okay, cool. So obviously it's not working. So let's just go to object mode to make our life a little bit easier. Um, let's go on the Let's go on the cube. So now I guess we're going to make a new one. We're going to bring this transmission all the way up. There we go. There we go. Now as you guys can see. This is exactly how we want it. Now it's that how we, now it's a contactful window. So if we zoom out a little bit, you can see that's a contactful window. You don't want it to tighten up as you go up. Yeah, that's what we don't want. We want them to tighten this all the way down. And we want the specular. I don't think the specular means anything. I think it's the roughness, that's it. We don't want the roughness at all, we want the roughness completely turned off. Now that we've turned off the roughness, as you can see, we have successfully created one single window. I'm just going to do that now with the other one. I'm going to... Hold on a minute, what's the other window? Yeah, there we go, there we go, cube 6, cube 6. So now this is its own specific mesh again, we've separated it and made it a different part of the mesh. Now what we're going to do, we're going to obviously go to cube 6, we're going to go to object mode. We to click on the, the actual thing here. Now we're going to create, now we're going to click me. And then from here, we're going to bring the roughness all the way to zero. And we're going to bring the transmission all the way up. Okay, and now we have two windows. And that is exactly what it is supposed to look like. And we are actually supposed to have one in the middle, I believe. Well, I don't think that this is its own specific mesh yet. However, we're gonna we're gonna get to it, you know. We're gonna get to it. We're gonna get to it. But it's just good to know that we've gotten the basics out of the way. We're gonna add a texture to this overall. So this is not bright. We're gonna change this, and we're going to put the sky texture. We're going to put it to about the curvy to about two point five. And we're just gonna mess around with the settings a little bit. So I just made it a little bit more metallic, just to make it a little bit more shiny. I put the um, 
Who wants to watch me, I do. I don't even know if I use it. I might have changed it. Like, no, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't mess around with that setting. But as you guys can see, it looks a bit more environmental. As you can see, it's as if something's a up. If you want, you can bring the mechanics a little bit up. But now it looks more... It looks more realistic as if a sun or something is shining down on it. So that's just a little cool thing I did there. If you want, you don't even need to separate. You don't even need to separate the mech and make it a different pillar. You can literally delete. You can literally delete that. If you think it doesn't look good, you can delete it. And keep the pillars and make the pillars the exact same colour as the um as the mansion itself. So you have like, that nice little colour, you know, that nice little vibrant jig to it. And then there's one more thing that I think one more thing I think I wanna wanna do. I think I'm going to want to make these two here its own separate mesh. So if you just click shift, 